Let's roll. Well, you claim that you're going to go out there and win four medals, so the goal had to be win the 100 and win the 200, so job is accomplished. Uh, Kenny was right there down the stretch, you know, what's going through your head as you're closing in on him in the final meters there? Yeah, Kenny got a great start. Uh, the plan was actually to swallow him up in the first 50 meters, but, you know, he was making sure that that job wasn't accomplished. So I knew that he was definitely working on something, so I guess that was it. Um, after we came off the turn, I was like, all right, don't panic. I've been here many times before. We're going to get to the last 80. He's going to fall, and I'm going to get faster. And that's what happened. A bit of a setback. No, do you feel like the plan for New York to today is working? It made me just question things, and I just, like, work. Yeah, it's, it's definitely working. It's definitely working. I'm right where I need to be. Um, you know, we didn't come in here with the plan to peak for the season, but, you know, kind of drifting into the peak. So I'd say that we still got quite a bit of practice to keep doing, keep going at it. I'm not done with the weight room at all. I'm ready to get back into the gym, in fact. Um, for, work on some um, kind of like uh, just smaller weaknesses within the body, just strengthen them up before we get to the Olympics. And I got quite a few races still to go. I got at least two races, and we'll keep it going. Ah, thank you. You know, you kind of out the Jamaicans. I guess there's a nice competition right next to you, too, in Kenya. Not yet. No, I mean, I, we the U.S. has been dominating. You know, we've had two medalists at least at each world championship and Olympics since 2021. So, you know, the 200, we definitely have a strong, strong boating for sweeping again. Um, you've talked a lot about uh, taking aim at uh, both records. What, what makes that such a big goal for you? Well, I mean, I think when everybody starts to get to the top, they start to realize, all right, what, what do I got to do to be considered the greatest when I leave the sport? And, you know, grabbing a world record is, you know, one of two things that I still have left to do. You know, one being grabbing an Olympic gold and then two, grabbing a world record. So, you know, it's on the list. You know, it's just as I aim for being the greatest, it's just something that I got to get or I want to get. Yeah. So I felt like the first 10 meters were pretty good. I came up real close to that 10 meter mark in the first seven steps. Uh, as I was coming up, I felt like I was more focused on trying to get my hips underneath me, which I think is where I had kind of the, the probably the biggest pause and momentum. Um, instead of saying, all right, let's just like rush the moment, it was more, let me wait, get my hips under, and then start moving. Uh, once I got that, I was looking up and we were starting to drive down the track. I was trying to make sure that I was putting as much energy into the track as possible. I saw, I heard Christian, felt, uh, saw Kenny out there. I'm like, all right, I'm not worried. I've been in this position many times. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and, you know, we'll keep running faster and faster. You know, going through, when we came off the 120, slingshotting off, was like, all right, I see Kenny. I see him fatiguing. All right, let's just keep putting power into the ground, keep going. And I was like, at, by the time we got to the 80 meter mark, I'm like, all right, yeah, I got this race in the bag. Let's finish this up. How'd you feel about the time? The time, I, I'm satisfied with the time. Uh, it's whatever, right next to what I ran at World Championships last year. Um, 19.5 is pretty much my zip code. That's where like my average is. Anytime I run 19.5, it's like saying, okay, you're in your average uh, area. And I mean, as we're getting closer and closer to to the Olympics, it's like, all right, 95, check. You know, maybe we'll see. I'm planning to go to London, planning to go to Monaco. You know, hopefully see maybe another 95 or 19.4. Be like, all right, check. We're getting faster each week. We're getting faster and faster. That's the momentum that I want to see as we get closer to the Olympics. I say that the 200 is always like the easier of the two. Um, not, not saying that they're easy per se. But for sure, that's the one that I have my heart set on the most. Um, and it's the one where I think everybody's being like, oh, you're at the American record, you're the first, third fastest. Like that's probably where you're going to, you know, see a, you can add a little bit more improvement and get a better result. But as you see today, you know, it, it, it's not always dependent on how, if you're in shape or not. It's, you know, the day, the competition, the wind, it's everything, you know. You know what? I definitely thrive off pressure. I thrive off big moments. Uh, the bigger the moment, the faster I run. And there's no, there's no moment where I think I'm going to go into that I'm not made for. Do you think? We'll get to you next.
Uh, you know, as I've kind of come to the 200, it's like harder and harder for me to celebrate because <laughs> I've kind of gotten to the streak of winning it so many times. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm not trying to take it for granted because it's, it's my favorite race by far. But as the times get faster and faster and I'm starting to see 19.5, sometimes I could even say I take 19.5 for granted as well. So and sometimes it's just like harder for me to get in the, like that zone of celebratory as soon as I win. It's like, all right, great, I got the job done. Great, I proved to myself that I'm fast. You know, I'm excited for it. Let's keep going, let's keep pressing. You know, this isn't the time to say, oh, this is the momentous occasion of a, a great day. It's like, good, you got the job done. Let's keep it moving. I think I've kind of always had it when it came to track. Um, it took a while before I gained it in real life. Uh, but definitely with track, it was something that kind of came natural and it was something that made the event fun. Uh, it, I felt that, you know, what, what's winning without a crowd? What's winning without competition? What's winning without the hardship? You know, if it's easy to win, why do it? If anybody can do it, why do it? You know, it's, if ever, it's the hard things that I want to go after. So, just curious, would you prefer the Doha 2019 when you're a little behind coming off the curve, or the June 2022 when you're clear and kind of getting the win? And it's time irrelevant. I don't know. I just like them all. I like the wins. I mean, I like I like the London, you know, 19.4. I love the, of course, I love the o Eugene, Oregon, American record. I I wasn't the biggest fan of Doha, but I definitely like today's me. It showed me that people were willing to get up. You know, sometimes you feel that you'll walk into a room and people are just scared to get up for it um, when it comes to the 200. And, you know, seeing Kenny, seeing Christian, seeing Arion, you know, all being like, even seeing Kyrie, it's like, you know, I love this, you know. People said, no, nah, I'm not gonna bat down because he's fast. I'm gonna get up because he's fast, you know? That's the energy I love to see, and those are the races that I want to keep having. There seems to be a theme of, like, anime. Like, she's talking about Naruto, and, like, she wanted to talk to you about it. Like, there seems to be a theme with a lot of Olympians loving anime. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, um, it's just kind of our generation. You know, we grew up during the Toonami era um, when anime was becoming big in America, and now we're all adults. <laughs> or young adults so we have had our time to shine and you know now you're seeing a lot of us become athletes and some of us become movie stars and so on and so forth so now it's not as taboo to talk about it and we're very open with how we like it and how we resonate with it and we want to bring it to things that we do. No, where are you at with the so negotiations to run the 4x4? Um, I haven't started negotiations yet. Uh, let's just say it will be hard but I'm going to let them know that I'm available and I'm ready to go. Thank <laughs> you.